are, my child. I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her, and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. Very well. Let's go and discover what the Governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught, and my cousin's position would be weakened. I know, but keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Noughts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. I will see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Ah! Oh, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Worshipping some dark creature. This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. 
this altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. Looking for an evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully, he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? In a way. I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt times and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. You did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door opened.
Quiet. Close duis atu da yam canade dole. Tadulan vrandi alau neles agen ole vei. Closi garamam i talami ol flinau ich egrem. Closi kadem ta yentis ol arabeni a ol slai. Vanqua sa kenga dem fra dem a digalem. Linkwid winter bus o galansani. Tugon ben nis gremos nigawi. Renkasi e krimadrem de negao edent. Close duis a ruiect nes diri. Lois de Raman Adres Gideon, Arenta. Es war nu fradi, dama gengadan, ya diga la dandien. Es war nu fradi, dawe gaishidon. Ag es war nu fradi, dawe gremos en abui. What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Donegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigze like the others. She bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking. 